Welcome on board the Celebrity Silhouette. She was built in 2011 and I took my first cruise on her in 2019. Since then, Celebrity have spent a whopping $75 million refurbishing the ship and Celebrity invited me back to check out the updates. Heading up to the back of Deck 15, we find the Sunset Bar. This is one of the areas on the ship that has undergone the biggest change, I would say, and it's almost unrecognisable from what it used to look like. Here you will find lots of very comfortable seats, lots of lovely cushions, this side is actually a smoking area and the other side is non-smoking. This is what this area used to look like. It used to be a very basic grass lawn where people would grab a blanket and they would sit down. It was a lovely area but I think you'll agree that they have made big improvements here. This is what this area at the back used to look like. Nothing wrong with it, but again, I think you'll agree that it does look much better right now. We spent a lot of time in the Sunset Bar enjoying actually some sunshine, amazingly, on our British Isles cruise. Celebrity are famous for being the only cruise line to have real grass on the top deck. Just because they've replaced the two side areas with extra seating does not mean that they've got rid of the grass. There is still this huge lawn in the middle and they've added that new TV screen so that people can sit here and watch films. On the side, you'll find these areas that are called the alcoves. These are places that you can hire for the day when you're on board. It costs $99 on a port day and $149 on a sea day. If you do book an alcove, you also get some wine, some beer and butler service. You get a 20% discount if you pay for them for the entire cruise. It's not the type of thing I would pay for, but they're always sold out and they are very popular. You'll also find the Lawn Club Speciality Restaurant up here. Up now to deck 16 and onto the retreat sun deck. This is an area that I wouldn't normally be able to have a look around, but I was given a pass so that I could investigate and film this video. This part is for the guests who are staying in the suites. They have their own private pool deck, their own bar, their own lounge. You name it, you get everything if you're on the retreat deck. I sat up here with a couple of friends and had a few banana daiquiris, which was lovely. Also off to the left, there is a lower level, which did used to be a basketball court. As you can see here, they have changed it the basketball court is gone and it is now the retreat sun deck and hot tub on deck 14 you will find the sky lounge this is a very popular place on board and it has changed quite a lot since i took my first cruise on her there are tons of comfortable seats comfortable sofas there's a bar in the middle a dance floor and they even have live music in here too this is what the sky lounge looked like in 2019 before the big refit they definitely have modernized this space and it was a very nice space to hang out during the daytime they would often do game shows and things like that here in the evening and we would just sit and relax and catch up with whatever had happened in the day. People would dance on the dance floor here and I believe those seats off to the side are the same seats that we just saw in the earlier video. They have added a lot of new things to this space but some of the things like those chairs, they didn't need to be changed. There are huge seating areas in case you're coming on the cruise with 25 of your friends and one of my favourite additions are these rocking chairs. I did sometimes hear people snoring fast asleep in these rocking chairs. You have an amazing view, the waiters are there to get you a drink and I can't really think of much better than that. I really miss it when I'm on a cruise and there isn't a lounge like this with the big glass windows. Not all cruise ships have lounges like this but I like to sit here to see where we're going and even on a sea day just to look out to sea. This is what the space looks like in the evening. What a lovely and relaxing way to end the day. Heading outside to one of my favourite places on board, this is the pool deck, this is looking down from the top level, and just have a look at how huge those swimming pools are. There's two huge swimming pools here, and there's also an inside swimming pool too. Lots of hot tubs, loads of seats, there's bars, there's waiters, there's everything you could need for a day spent in the sun. Turning off to the right here, you will find a area that is called the Mars Grill. This is included in your cruise fare. You can get a burger here, you can get a can of Coke, you can get anything you'd get at a poolside grill. I had a veggie burger, which was absolutely lovely. I believe it was a Beyond Meat burger. A little bit further along, you will find the Mars Bar, another popular destination. Pretty cold on this cruise, as you can see, but everyone is still enjoying it and still sitting outside. Having a look down now, you can get an idea of the scale of this ship. The Celebrity Silhouette is a mid-sized cruise ship and at full capacity, she holds around 2,800 people. She actually has three sisters, the Solstice, the Equinox and the Eclipse, and all four of the sisters are pretty similar. Heading into the buffet now, and this is one of my favourite things about Celebrity Cruises. When I took my first three-day Celebrity Cruise, I booked that one pretty much just to try the food and it did not disappoint. 
I'm happy to report that the food was just as good as I remembered. The food was served to you by the crew and the seats were set out to preserve social distancing. But apart from that, the buffet was the same as normal. A lot of choice, all of it incredibly high quality. And I think it probably is the best cruise ship buffet that I've ever been to. And trust me, I've been to a lot of cruise ship buffets. They have sections on the side where you can get a drink, a tea, a water. There's loads of desserts. If you want desserts, Celebrity do that very well. They have plates of cookies, they have cakes, they have everything you can think of. And in the buffet, all of the food is free and all of the food is totally unlimited. You can go back as many times as you like. There was waiter service to the tables here too and there was a bar in the buffet, which meant that we could always get a drink as we sat and ate our lunch. All over the ship you will find these 3D models which make it really easy to see where you are and you can work out where you want to go. There is the 3D version there and then the flat version here. It makes it very easy to see where your nearest bathrooms are and there I am. Heading down now you'll find this area outside the buffet. Loads of seating here which provides extra seating if the buffet is busy or if it's a nice day and you just want to sit and eat outside. This is what this area used to look like and this is what it looks like now. Definitely an improvement in my mind. The views from this section are also amazing. I filmed this ship tour on a cruise around the British Isles, which means that we didn't always have sunny weather. When we did, everybody enjoyed it and they sat out like this. You can see the live music there. But what's nice about the Celebrity Silhouette is this inside solarium area. That means you can swim no matter what the weather is like outside. This is a very relaxing area to come to, especially in the evening when nobody else is really here. There's lots of very comfortable sun loungers and this area is always very popular as it stays quite warm. This is what it used to look like. I think you see what I mean about Celebrity kind of toning down the orange in their recent refit. I think it looked great before, but I think it looks better now. The pool is a pretty big pool, considering that this is the inside pool. You can definitely swim in it. It's not kind of a paddling pool. You can properly swim in this pool, which is cool. Here I am walking through the Solarium area when nobody was there. Like most modern cruise ships, the Celebrity Silhouette has a big spa where you can get almost anything done. This was my favourite part about the spa. This was the artwork that was on the wall and I don't know why, but it just makes me laugh. If you want to have your hair cut here, want to have your nails done, want to have your teeth whitened, anything you can think of, you can have it done in the Celebrity Silhouette Spa. There's also a gym here. I have to admit, I only went in the gym for a tour. I didn't use the gym on this cruise, but it is there if you do want it. It's actually quite a big space and they do exercise classes here too. It has amazing windows right the way around the side. So if you do like the gym, I think you'll like this one. If you like reading or you just like relaxing somewhere quiet, you will love the library on deck 10. You can see my mum there in the bottom left hand corner. There are loads of books here. It's kind of a book exchange situation, but we would often sit here on my first cruise because it was one of the most relaxing and calming places on board. I love this artwork of a banana being blown up. Don't really understand it, but I like it anyway. There are loads of seats. You can see me there in the mirror and hardly anybody was here on our cruise. If you wanted a guaranteed quiet place to sit, maybe catch up on some work, this is the absolute best place. Our cabin was on deck seven and yes, that is a real tree in the middle of the atrium. The hideaway is a quiet place where you can sit and you can, I guess, hide away from everybody else. We spent quite a lot of time here on my first cruise and it hasn't really changed in the refit. It didn't need to change. When you're on a Celebrity Cruise, you'll be able to see all of the deck plans on the Celebrity Cruises app, which I found really useful. On deck five, you will find a lounge that I referred to as the Dark and Mysterious Lounge. This seemed to be a very trendy place to be and they would have live music here in the evenings. On the side, you will find a speciality restaurant. It's all about lobster and cheese and wine and it costs $50 for dinner and $30 for lunch. I have to admit, I don't know what this area is for. I didn't understand the first time and I don't understand this time. But if you want a picture sat on a rock in a kind of jungle surroundings, then the Celebrity Silhouette is the ship for you. I don't know. This is the main atrium on board the Celebrity Silhouette. You'll often find music here at the bottom and the music will carry up across the various levels. On five, you will find a sushi restaurant and these birds that are in cages. Celebrity cruises are very trendy. They're very into their artwork and I don't always understand it, but it's always interesting to see. So here are some birds in cages. 
This area really is the heart of the ship and if you take a cruise on the ship you'll probably spend quite a lot of your time here. On five here is the sushi restaurant. I'm not a huge fan of sushi but my friend Aid did provide these amazing pictures. I'm assured that if you like sushi this is very good sushi. You would normally find me in the cafe instead having a chocolate chip cookie. I spent a lot of time in this cafe and it became one of my favorite places. I think you can see why. There would be these jars here of cookies. You would ask for one and it would be served to you and they were absolutely amazing. We would often sit here in the evenings too. It would be quite dark and very relaxing and it's a nice place to have a cup of tea at the end of the day. As I mentioned earlier, celebrity really do like their artwork and no cruise ship would be complete without an art gallery. The art gallery was actually my muster station and there's loads of art that you can buy here. This space here felt to me like a second kind of little atrium. I like the way that it's open over multiple levels. On one side you will find a eye lounge if you need to come and check your emails, need to do a little bit of work, need some kind of IT help, that's a great place to go. It looks down on the shopping streets. I don't think if you just saw this clip alone that you would realise that this was inside a cruise ship, but it is. I promise it is. Like most cruise ships, shopping is very popular on board the Celebrity Silhouette. You can buy a new watch, you can buy perfume, you can buy makeup. If you're on the cruise and you decide that you need a new handbag, maybe you need a new piece of art, you will find plenty of things that you can spend your money on on board as you find on most cruise ships. I don't normally spend much money in this type of shop when I cruise. I tend to go in the souvenir shop and buy celebrity cruises things, but there's plenty of options if you are somebody who likes shopping. The restaurant on board that has the best views has got to be the Tuscan Grill. It is a specialty restaurant and I had a meal in here. It costs $45 for dinner or $25 for lunch plus tax. This is what the restaurant looks like. It's all very elegant, it's all covered in wood and it's all very comfortable. The food was very good as it is on all restaurants on celebrity cruises. They are not slugs. I realise now that I look at this picture that those do look like slugs. I promise you they're not slugs but I had these little cheesy things for a starter. I also had cheesy things for a main and then I had this amazing kind of cake thing for dessert. It was very good. Also in this part of the ship you will find a restaurant called Le Petit Chef. This is a speciality restaurant and I talk more about that in my cruise review. Make sure you watch that after this because I can't explain this in a few seconds. It was unlike anything I've ever seen before. The theatre on board the Celebrity Silhouette is absolutely huge and it is split over multiple levels. We watched the shows most nights, I thought they were all brilliant and every show was backed by a live band which was really cool. At the time of our cruise the seats were socially distanced and we had to wear masks but if you're watching this in the future maybe that is a distant memory. The celebrity cruises, singers and dancers were absolutely brilliant. All of the shows were very visually interesting, they used a lot of modern music and sometimes things would come out of the stage like poles or podiums or smoke or even skipping ropes. It was very cool to watch. We're now on the bottom of where we were earlier when we were looking down from the eye lounge. This is where we were. There are more shops down here and you'll also find the photo gallery on the right hand side. They don't print out the photos anymore. They're all just held on the computer. You scan your cruise card, see your pictures and you purchase them if you'd like to. I purchased a couple of photos. I wouldn't normally but I thought this was an exciting cruise so I purchased a photo of me and a photo of my mum. Another area that has changed in the refit is the addition of the entertainment court bar. So this bar wasn't here when I first came on the cruise and they've added it so that people can get a drink, they can sit here and they can enjoy it, or they can take their drinks into the theatre with them. On the side here we have Celebrity Central. This wasn't used very much during my cruise because of the reduced capacity, but it basically acts as a smaller second theatre. They will show movies in here, they will do presentations in here, loads of seats in here, and it's definitely a cool addition to the ship. Most ships do not have a kind of cinema theatre area like this. The casino on board the Celebrity Silhouette is absolutely huge and you can play any of your favourite games. If you like playing roulette, like playing blackjack, you like playing slot machines, anything you can think of you can play in this casino. They've also added a bar actually into the casino which I think is a good idea. The casino and that bar were very popular during our cruise and they're very popular during all cruises. I did go in the casino and I did put $20 into one of the machines. As expected I did just lose $20. This happens on most cruises. 
One area that has changed completely beyond recognition is the craft social bar. This used to be a kind of wine lounge, it used to be a bit dark in there, and I never went in there during my first Celebrity Silhouette cruise. They've replaced it with this lounge where everybody came to watch the football, everybody came to taste the beer. I see why they made the change and I think that that makes sense. The way that they pour you a beer here is unlike anything I've ever seen before. I think it's actually magic. The main dining room is absolutely huge and it is split over two levels. During our cruise the lower level was for fixed time dining and the upper level was for any time dining. Everything we ate in this restaurant was fantastic. Celebrity cruises definitely have a reputation for high quality food and we definitely found that during this cruise. The main dining room is open for dinner every day and it was occasionally open for lunch. All of the food that you will find in this main dining room is included in your cruise fare, so order and eat as much as you'd like, especially when you can eat looking at this view. Amazing. In the middle of the restaurant you will find this thing that I thought honestly was just a sculpture, but on closer inspection it's actually a huge wine shelf. There's loads and loads of wine inside this section. Who knew? I like the staircase in the middle too, so if you want to make a grand entrance to your dinner, this is where you do it. On to deck three, you will find the passport bar and you will find the reception desk. We didn't really spend much time down here, but if you did want a quiet place to sit, this will be a great place to do it. Our cruise on the Celebrity Silhouette took us around the British Isles. It was the first cruise back for the Celebrity Silhouette since the cruising shut down, so everything was very exciting. To learn what we got up to on that cruise and how it compared to my first time on board the ship, check out this video next.